Hi, and welcome to another edition of Average Guitar Tutorials with your host and mine, Josh Pike, playing only Josh Pike songs. Uh, so I'm going to do another request. This is a song called Leeward Side, and um, I love this song. This is a song that a lot of people think is a romantic song, uh, which it absolutely can be if that's, if that's uh, how you interpret it. I'm all for people interpreting my songs or any art really the way that they want to get what they get from it. I actually wrote this song about my first son when he was about probably two, so I only had one kid at that time, and um, I was really reflecting on the, the idea that, you know, as much as you want to be the leeward side for somebody, um, the protective side, you know, a protected bay, that's what it is, you know, if you're on the lee of the, the wind and everything, you're protected. So you want to be protective of your kid or your loved one, but you also have to accept that you need to let them go into the world uh, and hope that they come back and visit sometimes, but just accept that they have their own life. For, for whatever reason, that's been very difficult for me to, <laughs> to accept. Uh, when, I re when I recorded it, I played it with the capo on the fourth fret, right? So it was like this. I have, I have bound myself to your bearings. But for the purpose of this uh, average tutorial, ah, there we go. I'm going to play it with no capo on so you can just learn the chords and then once again you can put the capo on wherever it suits your vocal range if, if you're going to be playing and singing it. So it's actually a really simple song. Um, I'm just going to play like a real strummy acoustic version. Um, <clears throat> when I play it live solo I use a loop pedal to get the rhythm going and the, the woo -woo 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 -woos. Uh, I also use a harmonica in the recorded version. That's a whole other tutorial, so I'm going to just leave the, the harmonica out and I'll just whistle in those, little, in those little bits. So it's actually a really simple song. There's just a couple of bits to it. Uh, there's obviously the verses, the choruses, and the, the middle eight. And it only really contains uh, one, two, three, four, five. It's really only got five chords in the whole song. Okay, so this is the verse, right? And it's just chords. So I play once again in drop D, D, A, D, G, B, E. So when I'm playing a D minor chord, you can play the whole, all the strings. Uh, whereas obviously if I was in standard tuning, you would mute the, the low E. But we're in drop D, so we can get that really rich, big sound. That's the intro, right? So, intro. It's simply D minor, A minor, C, and then, because I'm playing this uh, these bar chords in drop D, you just kind of go, move your finger up like that. So it's that chord that I've showed you before, right? It's the major version of the drop of the chord of the bar chord in drop D tuning. So it's it's this. It's uh, 30 on the third fret um, on the D string. Your pinky is on the A string on the third fret. D is ringing. The G string is played on the second fret with old mate Rudy. And your firsty is on the first fret on the B string. Okay, so that's that this bar chord. Slide that anywhere you want. Okay, so D minor, A minor, C, F, F, and then it's a D, and you could just play it like this, it's D major. But I play this version of D, which gives it this nice kind of harmonics, I guess. And it's just like, it's basically a C chord slid up two frets. So it's a C chord slid up two frets and you hit the open D and you can transition between the F and this D chord really easily. That, that little combination, the F to the D is like so nice to play in this tuning. It's
It's really good. Anyway, there's lots of songs you can make out of that one. So that's the intro. Just A minor, C, F, F, D, F, C. And then I just do this little. And then the verse is pretty much just that again. Uh, slight variation. So it's I have bound myself, right? D minor to A minor, and then repeat. To your bearings, D minor to A minor, and then C to F. My love is a nest in bird, and then F to C, lodged in the breast of her. Same again. Lace up your boots tied, D minor to A minor, and then two million different lines under the leeward side. So that's the verse. And then I guess this is the, the, the chorus. Because I want to be someone. And then you go straight to the C and F. Worthy of your conversation. And then it's madness in a moonless night. So shake off your leeward side. Okay, so the, the chorus is, because we want, I want to be D minor, A minor, C. Okay, and then the second verse is uh, the same. So it's um, and all these things that I did or did not do. So D minor to A minor, D minor to A minor. In the miniature of my life, as a lineage back to you. And then this changes here, right? And you go, you go straight through the chord progression instead of repeating the D minor to the A minor. You go. Some will sit on their C despite the F. Someday I know I'll see D. You're dancing away from me. Right? So that's the variation in the second verse. It does, it goes straight through the chord progression. Then it's back to the, the chorus. Because I want to be someone. C, F. Madness in a moonless night. Shake off your leeward side We all want to be someone In the miniature of your And then you slide up to the D from the C Life There's madness in a wounded sky So you go from the C to the D And then the F to the D So shake off your leeward side Now this is the middle eight And it's all the same chords but You slide up to Oh actually, a lie Slides up to the G, which we haven't we haven't uh, used before at this point. Um, so we slide up to the G from the F, which is this this bar chord in drop D. Remember how I said you can slide it anywhere, so you just simply slide it up to the D, up to the G, which is uh, the same exact same as what I said before, but on the fifth fret, and it goes. You want more? You will want more. You will want A minor G. I kind of go, so you can go, just for that little thing, you don't have to do that, you can just go, um, <clears throat> but to my skin and to my bones, down to my A minor G and F, so I cannot follow, and then it's into the outro bit. One day you will unfold A minor and fall into C and F And one day you long to D Dancing away from C But under the D minor, A minor and C, F And until the day I D <laughs> F, B, Lee would C And then it's the outro which is the same as the intro D minor, A minor, C, F, F, D, F, C, E, E, E. So I hope you enjoyed this one. This is a short and sweet one. Um, Leewood Side, I absolutely love this song. It's definitely one of my most uh, popular songs, I guess. Um, 
And uh, that's it for me today. Um, there's only one thing left to say, and that's I'm here to serve. <laughs>